It is often said that mathematics is the queen of the sciences and within mathematics it's actually number theory or the study of numbers which is an extremely important field of study. And in the study of numbers it's a fascinating set of numbers known as prime numbers that have kept mathematicians busy for a very very long time. So in this video we will introduce you to these fascinating numbers We'll give you the definition, we'll give a few examples, and we'll also leave you with a few questions to try out for yourself. So let's start with the uh, definition of prime numbers. So the first thing we'll do is write down the uh, definition. So the definition of a prime number is a natural number which is greater than 1 that has no positive divisors other than 1 and itself. So the best way to get a handle of uh, prime numbers is to do a few examples. So we'll consider uh, a few examples and we'll see whether these numbers are prime numbers or not. Now uh, we have to consider natural numbers that are greater than 1, so we first start by considering 2. Now the only natural numbers dividing 2 are 1 and 2, so 2 is a prime number. Uh, if we consider the number 3, then the only natural numbers dividing it are 1 and 3, so 3 is a prime number. If we consider 4, uh, then the divisors of 4 are 1, 2 and 4, so 4 is not a prime number. If we consider 5, uh, then the natural numbers dividing it are 1 and 5, or only 1 and 5, so 5 is a prime number. Uh, let's look at a few other numbers. So you look at number 6, then uh, 1, 2, 3 and 6 are divisors of 6. So 6 is not a prime. If you look at 7, the only divisors are 1 and 7. So 7 is a prime. If you look at 8, uh, then the divisors are 1, 2, 4 and 8. So 8 is not a prime. 9, uh, the divisors are 1, 3 and 9. So 9 is uh, not a prime number. And you look at 10, then the divisors are 1, 2, 5 and 10. So the number 10 is also not a prime number. The best way to get a handle on any new topic is to actually go through a bunch of questions yourself. So we'll give you a few questions to deal with uh, with prime numbers. So here's question number one. Is your age, is your age a prime number or not. You know what your age is and the question you need to ask and answer is whether your age is a prime number or not. Here's uh, another question. Is the year today, is the year today a prime number or not? Uh, what do we mean by that? Uh, today we are in the year 2000 and 17. So the question you need to ask is, is 2017 a prime number or not? You could be looking at uh, the same question in the year 2019 or 2020 or 2021 and whatever the year today is, uh, what you need to do is work out whether that year is a prime number or not. Question number three is a slightly hard question. And that question is to work out whether your telephone number is a prime number or not. Now in case you don't have a telephone, just find somebody who does, a friend or a family member and uh, try and see whether you can work out whether that telephone number is a prime number or not. Of course, first try it with your telephone um, and try and work out whether your telephone number is a prime number or not. So these questions should give you some sense of what prime numbers are. So get yourself some uh, pen and paper and uh, have a shot at them.